In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear brothers and sisters, we are gathered here in this holy place where Mother Mary appeared. As we are gathered to celebrate this Eucharist, let us thank the Lord for all the blessings we have received through Mother Mary and put forth all our petitions, all our burdens, all our needs for our brothers and sisters, for our friends, for our own needs and the spiritual needs and the needs of the world. Brother, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, Father of mercies, whose only begotten Son, as he hung upon the cross, chose the Blessed Virgin Mary, his mother, to be our mother also, grant, we pray, that with her loving help, your church may be more faith fruitful day by day, and exulting in the holiness of her children, may draw to her embrace all the families of the peoples through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Since the Tribune wanted to know what precise charge the Jews were bringing against Paul, he freed him and gave orders for a meeting of the chief priests and the entire Sanhedrin. Then he brought Paul down and stood him in front of them. Now Paul was well aware that one section was made up of Sadducees and the other of Pharisees. So he called out in the Sanhedrin, Brothers, a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. King Agrippa and Bernice arrived in Caesarea and paid their respects to Festus. Their visit lasted several days, and Festus put Paul's case before the king. There is a man here, he said, whom Felix left behind in custody. And while I was in Jerusalem, the chief priests and the elders of the Jews laid information against him, demanding his condemnation but I told them that Romans are not in the habit of surrendering any man until the accused confronts his accusers and is given an opportunity to defend himself against the charge. So they came here with me, and I wasted no time, but took my seat on the tribunal the very next day and had the man brought in. When confronted with him, 
His accusers did not charge him with any of the crimes I had expected. But they had some argument or other with him about their own religion and about a dead man called Jesus, whom Paul alleged to be alive. Not feeling qualified to deal with questions of this sort, I asked him if he would be willing to go on to Jer Jerusalem to be tried there on this issue. But Paul put in an appeal for his case to be reserved for the judgment of the August Emperor. So I ordered him to be remanded until I could send him to Caesar. This is the word of the Lord. Our response, the Lord has set his sway in heaven. The Lord has set his sway in heaven. My soul give thanks to the Lord. All my being bless his holy name. My soul give thanks to the Lord and never forget all his blessings. The Lord has set his sway in heaven. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so strong is his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far does he remove our sins. The Lord has set his sway in heaven. The Lord has set his sway in heaven, and his kingdom is ruling over all. Give thanks to the Lord, all his angels, mighty in power, fulfilling his word. The Lord has set his sway in heaven. Acclamation. Alleluia. Remind you of all I have said to you. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus showed himself to his disciples, and after they had eaten, he said to them, to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than the others do? He answered, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, feed my lambs. A second time, he said to him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He replied, yes, Lord, you know I love you. Jesus said to him, look after my sheep. Then he said to him a third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was upset that he had asked a third time, do you love me? And said, Lord, you know everything. You know I love you. Jesus said to him, feed my sheep. I tell you solemnly, when you were young, you put on your belt and walked where you liked. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will put a belt around you and take you where you would rather not go. In these words, he indicated the kind of death by which Peter would give glory to God. After he said this, he said, follow me. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, 
today's gospel we listen to the narration where the risen lord appears to his disciples in a special way he affirms the mission of saint peter three times he tells him ask him do you love me and he enters the mission the message we get is we all interested with various missions responsibilities growing up our children taking care of the family if we want to be more fruitful we have to love god more the more we love god we can do well the way god expects to do when we analyze the life of saint peter he was a fisherman first his brother andrew met jesus and he introduces him jesus gives him the name peter you are simon hereafter you will be peter then after a great miracle of a catch of fish peter says lord i am a sinner depart from me but jesus says no i want you i'll make you fishers of men some all among the 12 he takes the role of the leader most of the time he speaks in the name of the 12 we have beautiful words when jesus was speaking about the eucharist many left him because they thought how can a man give his body and blood flesh and blood as a food is too much and many left him in the gospel we see after this they never followed him and jesus turning towards the 12 tells them i am not co- going to change my teaching this is the doctrine do you also want to leave and peter says lord where shall we go you have the words of eternal life he had his power at the same time he has his weakness he professed jesus as the messiah son of god and jesus makes him on this rock i will build my church at the same time he rebukes jesus when he foretells the passion that is his weakness at the last supper when jesus was foretelling about his passion how everyone will go away from him leaving him alone and peter says lord i know i am you are faithful disciple i will be with you even if others go away but i will die for you that means he implies i know i am a bold man such and such and things like etc and at the agony in the garden in gethsemane when soldiers came he impetuously attacks a soldier cuts his ear then afterwards he sees the crowd of soldiers he runs away at the end we see three times he denies i don't know him i don't know that man at all jesus already forewarned him you will deny me three times but he was to no 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 i know i am a strong man i can do i can manage you i can defend you i'll die for you but actually what happened he denied as a compensation jesus three times asks him do you love me and how he answers you know lord you know what i am and jesus enters him with a mission so my dear brothers and sisters we too have our strength points and weak points most of the time our strength points overcomes our weak points and we fail to realize our weak elements and jesus 
comes to the help of Peter. And we see when Jesus, when after betrayal, when Jesus looked into Peter, there was a gaze and Peter bit, bit, wept bitterly, we see in the gospel. He was weeping for his mistake and God accepted his remorse, his tears of repentance and once again renewed the mission which he gave at the Philippi Caesarea. You have to tend my sheep, feed my lambs. So my dear brothers and sisters, when we come before Jesus, it is good that we make an examine of conscience to know our strength as well as our weak points. Surely, the more we come close to Jesus, he will reveal to us the area where we are weak, that we have to take efforts to set right, and the area where we are strong, we have to day by day grow in that. And especially, Jesus invites us, if you are able to love me, you can fulfill all your responsibilities, all your careers undertakes in the best way possible as God wants. So let us pray in this Eucharist that let us be humble enough to accept our failures, our weaknesses. Let us not be too proud to, to know when we, are, we have some strength, but humble enough to accept. And also, let us always have the heart to love God fully so that we can do all our activities, fulfill our responsibilities in the best way possible according to the will of God. Amen. Celebrating the marvels which God perfected in the mother of Jesus and our mother, we humbly lift up our hearts to him, imploring the intercession of Mary, health of the sick. For the Holy Church, that she receive and proclaim the word of God, and in the sacrament of the anointing of the sick, be a sign of salvation and hope for the infirm, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all Christians that imitating Mary, they dedicate themselves with diligence in serving one another, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who suffer in body and in spirit, that they experience the maternal presence of Mary Console her of the afflicted, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all confined in hospital, that they be cared for with humanity, affection, and concern, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all our communities, that they discover the profound value of the mystery of redemption, which is manifest in those who suffer, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For us here present, for those in our families who are ill, that through the intercession of Mary, they may attain perfect health of soul and body, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. In silence, let us pray for our personal intentions. Almighty God, full of goodness and mercy, you are pleased with Mary's willingness to become the mother of your son. 
and you taught her to be continuously at the service of those in need. Give us the grace to imitate her in every moment of our life, through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. Become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, to become our spiritual dream. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours will be up to the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and of all this holy church. Receive our offerings, O Lord, and transform them into the mystery of salvation, so that by its power we may be set aflame with the charity of the Virgin Mary, Mother of the Church, and with her may be united more closely to the work of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended to the highest heavens as the angels gazed in wonder, mediated between God and man, judge of the world and the Lord of hosts, he ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers, the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, holy holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it 
and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith, we proclaim your death to the Lord and proclaim the resurrection, resurrection until you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love together with Francis, our Pope, Anthony, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but to deliver us from evil. <coughs> deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant to their peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Offer each other sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
As he hung, hung upon the cross, Jesus said to his disciples, whom he loved, Behold your mother. Let us pray. Having received the pledge of redemption and of life, we humbly pray, O Lord, that with the Blessed Virgin's motherly help, your Church may teach all nations by proclaiming the Gospel and through the grace of the outpouring of the Spirit, fill the whole earth through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now it is a time to bless the religious articles, so please keep ready the all your religious articles. Heavenly Father, we ask you to bless these religious items through the intercession of our Blessed Mother, St. Francisco and Jacinta Martius. May they be a sign of salvation and transformation for those who will receive them and those who will use them. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.